Proverbs 22.3 A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. I have heard of some people doing some pretty foolish things because they thought their faith would protect them, and it ended badly for them. Sometimes it was even fatal. This passage tells us that a little bit of wisdom can go a long way. Yes, I absolutely believe in miracles. Yes, I believe that prayers can stop a storm. But if I'm in the path of a tornado, I'd rather get to safety and pray there for God's protection. Does that mean my faith is weak? No, it means my faith is balanced with wisdom. If you or one of your kids is sick, pray first. If the condition worsens instead of getting better, especially if there is a high fever, get to a doctor. It may not be a lack of faith in healing. It may just be that a doctor is the method God chose to use to answer your prayer. Doesn't he have that right? He is God after all. We all want to see miracles. It is an incredible thing when God provides for his people through supernatural means. I also think that it is a good thing to step out in faith so that your faith can grow. It is not wise, however, to risk your life or someone else's life trying to get God to work a miracle. The minute that you think you can manipulate God is the minute that you set yourself up over Him, turning yourself into an idol in your own heart. We are supposed to serve God, not the other way around. God often provides for His people through natural means. And honestly, he deserves our thanks and praise for that too, just as much as for a miracle. Don't get me wrong, I want to see more faith and more miracles in this world and in this nation. I have talked about miracles and the gifts of the Spirit in other Bible studies I have done. I believe that as Christians we need to learn to pray with greater faith expecting God to work miracles. So don't be afraid to pray for your needs, but balance your faith with wisdom, so that if God wants to answer those prayers through natural means, you won't miss the wonderful blessings that He wants to give you. Put your faith into action by thanking Him even before you have the answer to your prayers, and don't forget to give Him glory and praise once you have that answer, no matter how He chooses to give it. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus yet, then this is the first prayer you should say. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart, and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you are interested in Emmanuel by April Marie, you can check it out at any of these websites. Thank you for listening. May you grow in both faith and wisdom.